Hello friends, um, I've been talking about JSON quite a bit now. In my last couple of videos, we talked about some API aspects, how we test them, what are the formats, uh, data formats that it will be required you to know, um, which is uh, JSON, which is what we talked about earlier. Um, also, uh, we went through how to set up, what are the libraries that is required for you to uh, download, right, in my other video. If you haven't watched those and you don't have your uh, rest assured libraries set up please um, I would encourage you to go to that video and have your computer set up because this video is going to uh, depend upon um, that right so that it assumes that you already have those libraries in place that I explained in my other videos so in this video we're going to talk about how we'd be able to read the data from um, how would be able to read the data from the JSON format obviously how would be able to create the JSON format data we're not going to write the file dot JSON because we want to create this file format dynamically what happens is you uh, send the request through the endpoint what we call the URL that is the backend URL when you send the request through the endpoint you have to send it into the JSON format in order to do that you'll have to create a JSON format data we will do that with the help of these libraries that I talked about um, and then whenever you send the request server receives the request and server will then based on your uh, request it will create the data into the JSON format send it back to you and whenever you get those data you'll have to validate them right because otherwise there's no validations you're not doing anything pretty much so in order to do this we're going to use the libraries called Jackson API which is going to work with the JSON objects and the arrays so let's go with that uh, to do that demo I have uh, just created a blank project here a uh, package it has nothing right now I'm going to add a class here I'll just say it's a uh, JSON JSON data types demo. Okay, um, so for you to know what the JSON is, JSON is dot J S O N is the extension of the file it will have it. That's just the format or, or if you have to create that file, that's the extension you'd have to prepare but for our purpose we're not writing any files we're not generating any files for example if you want to create a file for example let's say you want to create new you would go file right you would just write um, it's just a demo I'm just going to delete this just to show you how it would look like so you will see like this file right with this curly braces that's what it is for you can add anything here and that would be just a JSON format. So, for example, uh, first name, um, let's say John, and that would be it, right? You can add however you want the complexity of the data, right? So, don't worry on this. We're not doing this in the real life, right? So, because we're going to create those files, those data dynamically to the R code okay so this is a class I have so let's just create on main method so we can demo this out right in order to do that I'll just create the object of this so let's create some method here dot I'll just write some method name called JSON stuff public okay um so let's do a quick formatting okay so here the one of the main thing here if you see here I haven't imported anything but for that purpose I'd be using JSON objects. Let me 
this is the class that comes from that Jackson library. So if we hover here, it will say org.json, right? If you look into my other video, other video had all the libraries that we imported from palm.xml. I'm going to quickly show you that. So, so when I go to the palm.xml, it will have those libraries. If you don't have it, please um, feel free to go there and look at those. You need to add this stuff. There are about 11 libraries. We talked about that. You have to get them all. Okay. Um, so, um, first off, first, when I said JSON, let's bring up one quick demo purpose. This is a JSON format, right? I'm going to comment this up so it won't error. Um, so, I need to create a data with this curly braces starting and ending with the student ID being the key, this being value, key value, key value, right? So in order to do that, JSON will do that for me. So all I need to do is just like the hash map, right? So what does the hash map work? Hash map is like map right let's import that util i don't need to do this i don't need generics here i can just leave it it'll take care from here so if this was the hash map i would put map dot put right student id and output this as a string right And then I can continue to put this all information, right? I can put student name, student age, 23, test. So let's see how this map will look like. Okay, so if this was the map, this is how you'd be putting. Now, if it was the JSON, you'll see the difference. Dot put, okay, you do the same way. You can add these guys here, right? You can put this, instead of JSON, you'd put map. Instead of map, you'd put JSON. Now, if you want to print this guy out, all right. So, if you see here, this is the information that I wanted to prepare, right? I prepare same way with the map. You'd see the map. Okay, and then you'd see the JSON. So now if you see, I enter the same things with the put method, right? Because JSON object works very closely with the map, hash map. And this will automatically, I mean, this will be easily transferred over to the JSON object. We'll, we'll look that later. So when I run this now, Now look how the map goes and how the JSON object goes, right? Only the difference here is the equal sign versus colon, right? And then JSON object will be surrounded by both codes, keys and a value. Both will be surrounded by the codes, even though you did the same way for both of these guys, right? But the map implementation replaces those and puts the equal sign and both are string by default but are not coded json always expects it to be double coded okay regardless 
key or value whatever you have to double quote end it that's the main purpose you have to do in order to work with the JSON now since you see this difference let's go one more step and then see you want to validate if this is correct JSON then we have this site called JSON lint so in the JSON lint.com okay that's a map validated JSON it does not recognize right it has errors let's copy this piece and then see what the JSON lint says and it gave you the valid JSON right and it also formats you right with the same format and if you notice there are commas just like the way you you have it here right now because I already have this JSON data and my purpose is to read this from one by one item right then I need to have something called read this JSON and in order to do that if I was to do that from hash map if I was to do that from hash map I would say map dot get right and then I would give the key right and if I was to do that same thing from the JSON get a string and then you give the key okay so this is what you would do now you see here now if I run the same thing again From hash map it gave you 23 and from JSON it gave you 23 right because there was a no space so if you see from hash map it gave you the same value and then from JSON it gave you the same value but when you print this JSON at that time that is the object and it will be into the JSON format you can also write json.get as long as it is there it will run the same way there's nothing different there are more choices on this um, if you happen to have for example there is a student uh, home right there is no key student home if that was the same thing for the case of the hash map map.get student home and then json.get student home you don't have the student home here right see what happens now now if you go to map here oh that's the map map gave you the null right map can contain the null value right but json cannot contain the null right that's the problem because it says okay json object called student home is not found so in that case sometimes it might happen that you are trying to validate something and then this key does not exist and you still want it to continue in that case you have to say okay give me option okay give me choice in order to do that I may have it I may not have it right then you can have this now if you run this it will run it so get and opt would work the same way right get a string opt a string you can also have opt string would work the same way okay opt string is basically when you say opt dot saying this versus opt string is the same thing okay okay so this is all about this video and then we will continue into the next video um, thank you very much for watching this video 